Hi guys, Mike in the woods here. It's a beautiful day out today, and I'm back with another 3D printing related video. This time in particular, I'm gonna take a look at five different 3D printed items I have in my bug out bag, and I'll leave links to all the 3D models down below, so if you wanna make your own, check that out. If you're new to the channel, check out my other videos and consider subscribing. Hit the like button. If you find this video interesting, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let's get into it. Number five, a tick remover. Starting things off super simple, such a small and basic item that I printed out and put in my first aid kit. It's got two flat prongs on the bottom, which you sort of slide underneath the tick and pull up and away with a twisting motion to minimize the chance of any communicable disease being spread to you. This tick twister is an excellent example of something basic and simple that can be made on demand as you need it with whatever modifications you want. Sometimes the most useful and valuable tools are the ones that are small and dirt simple to make. Number four, a survival whistle. This is something I've had in my survival tin for quite some time and actually sits in my EDC bag, not my bug out bag. However, my bug out configuration consists of both my bug out bag and my EDC bag. So in the context of my bug out loadout, it counts. This whistle is a prime example of one of 3D printing's strengths being able to create, modify, or find an existing tool that is customized exactly to your needs. With mine specifically, I needed a small one that could fit into my Rothko survival tin and play nicely with the other stuff I have crammed in there. Number three, survival snap cards. The ideas behind these are simple, flat snap cards that have a variety of tools and utilities that you can snap out from them in an emergency. I have one that's got fishing hooks on it and simple lures, one that has some arrowheads, and one that's got some simple cutlery. In no way are these things expected to be durable, reliable, or even good for continued usage, but they're super lightweight, pack into anywhere, and are a good last resort as a third or fourth level fallback option. A backup of a backup, if you will. The plastic itself is PLA, which is non-toxic. These are a recent addition to my bug out bag, and I'm eager to get out and try these in some upcoming trips once the current health crisis is over and done with. I'm not 100% on the designs themselves, I'm probably going to try designing my own and expanding on the concept. Number two, a figure four deadfall trap. I'm not that confident in my ability to set up a deadfall trap using natural materials, so I found this three-piece set for constructing one. It's lightweight and is simple to set up since it already has all of the cutouts in it. I have zero confidence in my ability to catch anything with it, but for something that takes up little space or weight, it's one more item that adds to my long-term sustainability section of my bug out gear. It's mostly in there for testing and trial purposes. I'll be setting it up a few times to get a feel for its capabilities. I'll do a follow-up video on this in the future. And number one, a modular sling bow. Unlike the other four items on this list, this particular tool was designed and created by our homeboy Mike. I've already done a video on this exact sling bow, so I won't get too deep into it, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. But essentially, I wanted to design a modular sling bow that could have different parts swapped in and out as needed. It's in three pieces, the grip, the yoke, and the arrow guide, for now, letting me easily swap between firing pebbles or steel shot and firing my arrow. This is the primary tool in my bug out bag for long-term sustainability if I'm unable to make it to my bug out location and I'm otherwise unable to procure food. That's it my friends, five simple and useful 3D printable tools that I carry in my bug out bag. There's lots of them out there, ones that are far more complex than these standalone prints, such as generators and more complex tools that require other components to assemble, which I will most certainly be doing videos on in the future. If you have any ideas for specific 3D prints you'd like to see created or looked at on the channel, please let me know down below. Gently tap the like button if you think this video was cool, and finally, 98% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so consider subscribing if you have not already. I focus on the intersection of fun, futuristic technology and traditional outdoors experiences. Check out the links in the description for all of the 3D model files for everything in this video, as well as other links to help out this channel, such as my online 3D print shop where I sell a variety of 3D prints and paracord items from the outdoors and gaming niches. Also, come follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next video.